Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to discuss how to correct overlapping data in EasyBuilder Pro. Data overlap can occur when two or more objects that read or write different types of data are addressed to the same register. One indication that you're experiencing data overlap is that characters from one object are changing the data that resides within another. This might look like unwanted characters, data being overwritten, or even asterisks in place of what would normally be numbers. When this occurs, it is often useful to use EasyBuilder Pro's address grid to search through the registers used within your project. The address grid can often be found by selecting the address tab in the bottom left corner. If you don't see this tab, I would check the bottom right to see if it was inadvertently moved. If it still can't be found, we'll select the view tab and towards the center, we'll enable the address grid. After selecting or enabling the address grid, we can use it to find what objects are tied to a specific register within our project. As we watch within our simulation, there is data overlap between almost each object on our dashboard. So let's try and resolve this issue starting with the 4x3 register. To do this, I'm going to select the name of my external device at the top. I'll ensure that the appropriate station number is selected, and then select my 4x address. Now within our arrangement of green blocks, we can see that there are seven red blocks and one yellow block. The red blocks represent registers that are currently being used by objects within our project, while the green blocks represent registers that are not currently in use. Yellow blocks are slightly more dynamic. When we have a word address, like 4x selected, they represent registers in use by objects that are addressed to specific bits within a word. And their function changes when we select our 4x bit address type, where they represent 16-bit word registers that are currently in use within our project, like our numeric object addressed to 4x1. Additionally, I'd like to point out that if our address was a little obscure, or if we want to find it quickly, we can easily find any address by typing it within our address search bar. For now, let's select the 4x3 block, and in the dialog below, we'll see what objects are utilizing this register in their corresponding location. If we double-click an object within this list, the window in which the object resides will open, and the object settings menu will be displayed. This will allow us to quickly correct the data overlap. And even if this register isn't tied to a physical object, it also works for data transfers, events, data sampling objects, and macros. It is an extremely useful tool that will help you debug your project. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.